Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Dylan. I do magic. You may have known me from TikTok. I do a lot of uh, magic tricks on there and stuff. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys actually how to hold a pack of playing cards in your hand. There's actually three main ways and this is very basic and fundamental. But in order to get to uh, bigger and better stuff later on, you got to learn the basics. All right. You know, you got to crawl before you can walk. Right. So uh, this goes with uh, playing cards as well. You got to learn how to hold cards first in order to uh, be able to mix them up and shuffle them up and stuff like that. So if you do know how to hold cards already, hopefully you may learn something new that you didn't know, or this is a good uh, refreshener. So there's uh, three main grips. The first one is known as mechanics grip or dealer's grip. Okay, it doesn't matter which way you prefer to say it. Uh, but it's more popular nowadays as mechanics grip, and it looks like this right here, like so. And the second one is a uh, biddle grip or in grip. It's more popular and known as biddle grip nowadays. And then the next one, which is the third, and it's a straddle grip, just like so. And I've always known this as straddle grip. I haven't ever heard another name. However, there's low straddle grip and there's high straddle grip. They are those. So here's the tutorial. All right, so depending on your uh, hands, all right, there's a big misconception like, you know, oh, my hands are too small to do a lot of things. Well, listen here. Um, your hands will get bigger later on, but my hands are not that big. So if you take a playing card like this, all right, you see that? I mean, my hands are not that big. So if a card can, if your hands can at least cover the card like this, this much, all right, you can do a lot of these things with cards. So when you're holding the cards in your hands like so, all right, you want to have your pinky your ring finger, your middle, and your first finger, and your thumb like this, all right? So, thumb's gonna be on the long edge, the first finger is gonna be on the short edge right here, and then you got the middle, ring, and pinky. And it's going, this uh, part of the deck is just gonna be against the flesh of your skin like so. You also wanna make sure you have some uh, room under here, like some pocket space. So keep in mind, your thumb, all right? It's the fleshy part is against the uh, long edge of the deck, your first, middle, ring, and pinkies, just like so. And you can deal cards like that, which is very easy to do. You'll sometimes see people hold the cards like this. I mean, you can hold cards in any grip you really want to, but this is not as a good as grip as this. All right, so this is the correct way. Don't do this, but get in the habit of doing this. Now, sometimes you will have to hold cards like this for certain things and, uh, you know, doing certain flourishes and stuff, but this is actually dealer's grip. You don't want to really deal cards like this. This is more convenient and better, this method right here. All right, and that's known as Diller's Grip. So I hope you guys like that. Again, it's like so. This is what it looks like, Diller's Grip or Mechanic's Grip. Okay, the next grip that we're gonna be learning is known as in grip or Biddle Grip. This is a very important grip as well. So you'll see this grip uh, used doing uh, cuts and stuff and a bunch of kind of flourishes and stuff and it's very handy. Instead of cutting the cards like this, this is normally how a layman would do it. Someone who doesn't fool around with cards too much, they go like this and there's nothing wrong with this. But you can tell when someone's been playing with cards like a magician or somebody, they'll do a swing cut over like this. And in order to do a swing cut, you need to learn what biddle grip is. So this is biddle grip, right? So this is what it looks like. So your thumb's in the back, right? It's not directly in the corner, but it's kind of like almost in the middle. All right, it's really preference, but just get in this area right here. So thumb is in the back. Your first finger is just chilling out. He's resting up here. Then you have your middle and ring finger, just like so. Now your pinky can make a little contact, but it doesn't really need to make contact at all. So you actually can just leave your pinky just resting aside like so, okay? And this is a biddle grip. So what's good about biddle grip is you can have a pack of playing cards sitting down and you usually can just pick it up just like so. Then you can go in and do a nice swing cut or whatever. So again, go into mechanics grip and then go into biddle grip. Practice doing this over and over. Mechanics grip, biddle grip. Mechanics grip, biddle grip. And that's biddle grip. Hope you guys like that. Okay, the next grip that we are going to learn is straddle grip. Now, straddle grip is also a very important grip, especially in the cars community as well. You don't really see this grip used much in magic, but it's still a very important grip that I think magicians and cars should learn. So, this is what it looks like. This is it. This is called high straddle grip, and this is low straddle grip. 
Um, you really want to generally be in high straddle grip most of the time, but sometimes you do want to be in low straddle grip. And this is what it looks like. So here's what you can do. Go into mechanics grip, all right? I hope you've been practicing that. And go into the biddle grip, and then you can just go like that. You can practice doing all three of those motions, just like so. Now, straddle grip, you're gonna have your thumb on the left long edge of the deck. The index finger, the first finger, is going to be on the short edge of the deck on top. Then you have your middle, you're gonna have your ring, and just have your pinky like so. Now, once you get more advanced, you can actually do this. You can just go like that, okay? So you don't have to go like this and do this whole motion. If you wanna practice that, actually, you can. It's better to actually get in this motion, but since you're learning all the grips, it's good to just to practice each and every one of them. But over time, you'll be advanced enough to just go like this, all right? It's actually really easy. You can go from mechanics to straddle. And this is high straddle grip. The reason why it's called high straddle grip because it's high. This is low, you kind of let it drop down. And the things you can do with straddle grip is a lot of cool things. You can do one-headed cuts, which is called the uh, Charlier cut which is like that. There's a lot of cool things you can do in this grip. And this is a very secured grip. The cards are not gonna go nowhere. You can shake them or anything. All these grips are secured, each and every one of them. The cards are not gonna fall. So when it comes to tightness, how uh, should you hold the cards, like how tight? You don't have to hold them tight at all. Just be gentle with them, all right? I mean, I'm not even putting that much pressure, right? I mean, it's a, it's a playing card, right? It's thin, it's thin paper. You don't wanna like squeeze it, death grip it. Just be gentle with it, all right? You'll find uh, how much pressure just comes naturally. But that is straddle grip. Again, thumb, first finger, middle, ring, pinky. High straddle grip, low straddle grip, high straddle grip. So, hope you guys like that. So guys, that is a wrap up for the day's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is mechanics grip, this is biddle grip, and this is straddle grip. And you can also go from mechanics to straddle as well as like that. And that's my preferred method. But you can practice all those, and I hope you enjoy. And remember, this is basic stuff, but in order to get to the more advanced stuff, you do got to learn the basics first. Um, this isn't really hard to do, so just practice it, and I promise you'll get it. It does take a little time to learn these things, but I believe you all can do it. And I thank each and every one of you for your support. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure to uh, follow me on TikTok. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button on YouTube, make sure to... Uh, Press that button, guys, to uh, see more videos and tutorials. Let me know what tutorials you would like to see next. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.